think this is very funny. Bobby. Who is this? As you watch the screen, your heart begins to beat faster. There's a fluttering in the pit of your stomach. Your throat is dry. Your palms damp. Suddenly a chill runs down your spine. You clutch the person next to you. You tell yourself, it's only a movie. It's only a movie. But sooner or later, it's time to go home. There's no question about it. Some terror films go too far. Mommy, unlock the door. But so do the audiences. I to go down the stairs, out the front door. I want to go down the street to the Mackenzie's house. First they start grabbing each other, which is all very well if you have a date. I want you to tell them to call the police. Okay. And before long. Now, do you understand me? No. No, baby, no, People no. People are yelling no, no. at the characters on the screen. Hey, watch out, baby. Watch out. Please, stop. Yeah. 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 Get him. Oh. Don't drop the knife, asshole. It's strange, isn't it? In real life, nobody likes to think about violence, pain, blood, and death. But project these experiences on a screen, and 
and people form lines in the street. That's because a terror film is a lot like a roller coaster ride. Only you're sitting in a theater, which is relatively safe. a need to be scared. Why else do we go to these movies? Perhaps we're taking a dare, proving to ourselves that we're not afraid. Go ahead, Lonnie. Chicken, go in! Hey. Hey, Lonnie, get your ass away from there. Besides, there's something delicious about fear, especially somebody else's. Scary movies tap into your childhood fears of the dark and of being alone. Young or old, we go to the movies to see our dreams and fantasies come to life. But not all of our fantasies are wholesome, dignified. In the privacy of our thoughts, we can be as childish as we like. And the little scenarios of power and revenge we conjure up can be quite satisfying. Resorting to violence to get back at someone might not be your cup of tea. Will you look at that fellow over there? I mean, I have never seen anything so disgusting in all my life. But I'll bet you've thought about it. He's staring. I think he's looking at us. I think we're being picked up. Oh, it's too awful. I don't know how they can look creatures like that. a certain amount of resentment and rage because we can't let it out. In the movies, we can. Why make up horrible things when there is so much real terror in the world? 
Perhaps we invent artificial horrors to help us cope with the real ones. In 1974, a picture came out that was inspired by a true story. It was called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And in it, the character of Leatherface was based on Ed Gein, a mass murderer and grave robber who lived in a small isolated town. Gein was a cannibal a necrophile and a transvestite. But he didn't dress up in women's clothes. He dressed up in their skin. No wonder these films give us nightmares. Do I have to close my eyes? It doesn't matter. All right, yes, I have something. Or is it our nightmares that give us these films? they do that that's the trick isn't it once the lights go down whatever you see whatever you can't see whatever you think you see is out of your control you're at the mercy of the filmmakers. When the camera takes on the point of view of the killer, we see what they see, not who they are. Just 
to see I feel you my dear I Michael Mrs. Bates Of course you can always close your eyes, but you can't close your ears. Keeping your eyes open is a good idea, especially if you're out on a night with a full moon, because you never know what's in store for you. Years ago, when filmmakers wanted to transform someone into a werewolf, the actor just sat still, and trick photography did all the work. God! Today, people are more sophisticated. And becoming a werewolf can take a lot out of you. and a strong stomach. All right, I'm gonna suck your brain dry. Artists and technicians continue to defy logic. Stagger the imagination and astound our senses all the time. Raising the stakes. But special effects are not essential to a good movie. It's the filmmaker's technique that matters most. And the unquestioned master was Alfred Hitchcock. You just want a cupid dog. Why, he's broken the thing. Is your name Miriam? When I say that I'm not interested in content, it's, uh, it's what would be the same uh, as a painter worrying about whether the apples that, he are, that he's painting, whether they're sweet or sour. Who cares? It's his style, his manner of painting them. That's where the emotion comes from. <laughs> this scene is 45 seconds long. 
but was made up out of 78 pieces of film coming onto the screen in great rapidity. But the overall impression given the audience is one of an alarming, devastating murder scene. The fact is, from the moment you buy that ticket, you know you're going to get it. It's just a question of how, where, and when. The name of the game is Suspense. Cute, Bob, real cute. See anything you like? <laughs> What's the matter? Can I get your ghost, Bob? fact, the filmmaker says to the audience, now get ready, you're going to see something that's going to scare you, but I'm not going to tell you when. You're being programmed to go nuts. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him. And then another seven trying to keep him locked up. Because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. squealing. Are you fooling around again? The essential fact is to get 
real suspense, you must let the audience have information. Now, let's take the old-fashioned bomb theory. You and I are sitting talking, we'll say, about baseball. We're talking for five minutes. Suddenly, a bomb goes off, and the audience have a 10-second terrible shock. Now, let's take the same, same situation. Tell the audience at the beginning that under the table, and show it to them, there's a bomb, and it's going to go off in five minutes. Now we talk baseball. What are the audience doing? They're saying, don't talk about baseball. There's a bomb under there. Get rid of it. But they're helpless. They can't jump out of their seats up onto the screen and grab hold of the bomb and throw it down. Shock and surprise are very different from suspense. If you want to shock people, you just have to catch them off guard. And then clobber them. Oh, no, don't, touch, don't touch it! Don't touch it! That was shocking, wasn't it? But suspense can be equally brutal. Terror owes its very existence to the one group of characters devoted to its cause. The villains. From the dangerously disturbed. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. To the thoroughly demented. They run the gamut in age appearance, even occupation. Give me the money, you fucker. And yet, I'm not a bad man. They can be encouraging. All I want is for you to trust me. Come on, baby, open up the door. You gonna hit me again? Now you know you're the number one thing in my heart. They can be disarming. Come on, baby, open up the door. I'm out here all alone. I'm gonna have her make a daily drink for you that'll be fresher, safer, and more vitamin-rich than any pills on the market. They can be reassuring. Any questions you have, call me night or day. That's what I'm here for. You may even be married to one. Wendy, I'm home. So that even when you're certain of who they really are, 
there's still no guarantee that you're safe. I know who you are, you murderer. I know who you are. Help! The man needs help here. Help! Quick! A doctor! Please. At times we can't help but marvel at their cleverness. I swear you ain't gonna hit me again. I ain't never gonna hit you. All I want to do is give you the kind of love you want. What you need. Believe how stupid you are. Slick and calculating. When it comes to cruelty, they seem so self assured. And you? What's your favorite toy? Geraldine. What does she do? And may we have Geraldine on the table, too? Oh, no, we may not. Why the hell not? Because she's the referee. <laughs> The most compelling villains are often the most confident. May I help you with anything? Yes. Yes. Something special. Oh, yes. I think you might be interested in something like this. Hmm. That's good. What is it? Ah, uh, I think you'd be interested in this more, sir. Would you like to smell it? What do you think? Could you wrap it up for me? Certainly. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right. You really are very pretty. Well, thank you. For each villain brings a style and a method to his madness. United Press. I have an announcement to make for your international wire. His real name is Hamer Reinhardt. He has no network, no real organization. He improvises. He manages to succeed where others have failed. If he has changed his face, he will be more dangerous than ever. Is this trip business or pleasure? Pleasure. Nobody ever walks out on me. You understand me? Never! They never walk out on me. Untroubled by conscience, their capacity for evil has no limit. Lesson number one, Ginger. Is it safe? Are you talking to me? Is it safe? Is what safe? Some are capable of doing anything. Is it safe? I don't know what you mean. Take it away. 
moment. He's bringing it to the front of the tram car. He has her against the window. What the hell is he doing? Be a little closer. I just want to see his face. This one's for you, De Silva. Oh, Christ, don't do it. And Susie. Yes, Mike? I want you to know what? it. In the end, they simply don't distinguish between right and wrong. Perhaps they don't know the difference. Perhaps they just don't care. Whether they're ruthless, desperate... What I did to Ginger, it ain't nothing. Ah! Know what I'm gonna do to you or totally deranged. <laughs> However unstable the villains. Why'd you kill the woman? I wanted to. So why don't you kill me? In due time. <laughs> they are the ultimate figures in power. That hurt? Uh-huh. No. I should think it would. Should take better care of your teeth. You have a, a quite a cavity here. Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't do it. So no matter how much they make us hate them, they know how to make us watch them. Find you, bitch. Please stop. Please don't worry. I'm not going into that cavity. That nerve's already dying. A live, freshly cut nerve is infinitely more sensitive. So, I'll just drill into a healthy tooth until I reach the pulp. Unless, of course, you can tell me that it's safe. Walk off! that simple relief discomfort now which of these I next apply that decision is in your hands so take your time <laughs> and tell me is it safe <laughs>
We are all born helpless. As infants, we are dependent on others for food, shelter, for life itself. We are totally vulnerable. Slowly but surely, we learn to be afraid. Michael! Did you hear your father out of the water now? Now! We're taught the difference between right and wrong. And yet, we're only human. And we sometimes take foolish risks, even when we know it's dangerous. By the time we regret what we've done, it may already be too late. What's most frightening of all? Bobby? Have you checked the children? What? Is that for reasons beyond our control? <laughs> for reasons beyond our comprehension? Or worst of all, for no reason whatsoever. The hat. I want the hat. <laughs> At any time. <laughs> At any place. <laughs> we may find ourselves. <laughs> a victim. <laughs> What are you, some kind of asshole? <laughs> Since vulnerability is the key, the victim is usually alone. Hello. Why haven't you checked the children? And unfortunately, in these movies, the victim is almost always a woman. It's a man. I think he's trying to scare me. An uh, anonymous caller, ma'am? That's right. Yeah, it's probably just some weirdo. The city's full of them. Wendy. <coughs> explain something to you whenever you come in here and interrupt me you're breaking my concentration you're distracting me and it will then take me time to get back to where i was understand yeah now we're gonna make a new rule whenever i'm in here you hear me typing whether you don't hear me typing, what the fuck you hear me doing in here when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. Now, do you think you can handle that? Yeah. What's wrong with the boss? Nothing for you to worry about. Just get some rest right now. I'll let you know as soon as we get a hold of your parents. To make things worse, she may be fully aware of the danger, but helpless to do anything about it. I need you here. Here at the house. Giving the villains an edge they are only too willing to exploit. You've got to come over right away. Please, before she comes back. <laughs> Oh. 
on the other hand, she may be totally unaware that she is in any danger at all. I have a telegram for Dr. Potter. Well, he's not in. I'll take it. I may only give it to him. Well, I'm his wife. I think he'd give it to me. When will he return? I don't know. Sometime this afternoon. You want to come back later? You can rest assured I will. <laughs> I'm very confused. I just need a chance to see things over. You've had your whole fucking life to think things over. What good's a few minutes more gonna do you now? Stay away from me. Please! Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay away from me! Wendy? Stay away! Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Please, can't you help me? I'm all alone here. Okay, now take it easy. I'll tell you what, if this guy calls you again... He will call again, I know he will. I can alert the phone company so that if he calls again, we can try to trace a call. inside the house. Our squad car's on the way over there right now. Just get out of that house. you are. 
You don't have to be looking for trouble to find it. I have seen these flowers all over. They're growing like parasites on other plants. All of a sudden, where are they coming from? Outer space? Well, what are you talking about? A space flower? Well, why not a space flower? Why do we always expect metal ships? Evil can come from anywhere. Arriving mysteriously from outer space. Or appearing suddenly here on Earth. There's a fog bank out there. On land or at sea. Environments once familiar. Even pleasurable. Become bewildering. And ominous. Concealing and protecting the enemy. I want to see who it is. No. Can't I stay for two more seconds? By leaving us. Okay, okay, I'm going. Exposed. Nature is not always to blame. I don't know what the hell's in there. It's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. <laughs> Malevolent life forms from other worlds may jeopardize our position as the supreme beings on this planet. See, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them, and in the process, shape its own cells to imitate them. That's not dog. It's imitation. We got to it before it had time to finish. Finish what? I didn't tell you my name. Hang up. I didn't tell them my name. They're all a part of it. They're all pods, all of them. It's happening now. They grow out of those pods. How do we fight what we don't understand? Can we triumph over the unknown? Evil doesn't have to come from another world to control life here on Earth. Our oldest fear, the devil himself, can take on any form, even that of a child. Have no fear, little one. I am here to protect. Oh, get away! The sour is mine! 
Fuck me! Fuck me! Please come in. More frightening still are those who worship the power of evil. That whole bunch, the parties with the singing and the flute and the chanting, those are espas or sabbaths. I don't get excited. Huh? Read what they do, Guy. They use blood in their rituals, and the blood that has the most power is baby's blood. And they don't just use the blood, they use the flesh, too. Rosemary, for God's sakes. They're not setting foot in this apartment ever again. And they're not coming within 50 feet of the baby. They're old people. They have a bunch of old friends. Dr. Shan happens to play the recorder. They're not taking any chances with the baby's safety. Well, you're not going. Oh, he said I would. You tell that boy you're not going, or we're going to move from here. No. Move from here, and you'll never see that boy again. The potential for evil may be hidden within all of us. Most of us never discover it. Some of us do. I'm going. You can't stop me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Who are we? Are you comfortable, Reagan? Yes. How old are you? Twelve. Is there someone inside you? Sometimes. Somebody in this camp ain't what he appears to be. Right now, that may be one or two of us. By spring, it could be all of us. So how do we know who's human? If I was an imitation, a perfect imitation, how would you know if it was really me? I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. If you are there, you two are hypnotized. I must answer all my questions. Come forward. And answer me now. What is inside us? And what if that which we held back suddenly were let go? What have you done to it? What have you done to its eyes? He has his father's eyes. What are you talking about, guys? Eyes are normal. What have you done to him, you maniac? Satan is his father, not Guy. In a world where 
Evil plays without rules. No one is beyond reach. Amen. It's no longer a question Matthew? of what's to become of us. Matthew. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Take me! Come into me! But rather, what we're to become. God damn you! Take me! <laughs> Now, what's the one thing these films have in common? My only comment would be highly censorable. People in trouble. And what's the easiest way to get into trouble? Give up, John. Admit who you are. You know as well as I do, this necklace is imitation. Sex. She loved me, man. And it always has been. Even in this light, I can tell where your eyes are looking. Life, sex has its dangers. I shouldn't have been sober. Thank you for picking up. Because it makes people take chances. But usually. They survive. In a terror film, you don't even have to take a chance. Just take a walk, alone at night, and that may be the last we see of you. Oh. A moonlight swim in the nude is definitely a bad idea. Max. In the bedroom, anything can happen. We don't. Yeah, we take Master Charge, Visa, American Express, but not for tips. Heaven help you if sex is your profession. Okay, that's not really true. You can put tips on Visa if you want. These films will put an end to your career. Permanently. behind me and rest the cold blade. In terror film, sex rarely ends with pleasure. It ends in violence.
And since you're never more vulnerable than when you're naked, the bathroom is the most dangerous place of all. to you when I say that there are little corners in everyone which were better off left alone. Hello? Hello? I watched you today. What? But that's your stock and trade, isn't it, a man's weakness? Little sicknesses which should never be exposed. Would you mind not doing that? And I was never really fully aware of mine until you brought them out. I have no idea what I'm going to do. And I'm so deeply puzzled. I've done terrible things. I've killed three people. But yet I don't consider myself a terrible man. I know you're expecting some kind of extravagant behavior. So it doesn't make any difference what I do anymore, does it? I will not harm you at all physically. Why don't you, uh, why don't you make yourself comfortable? Why don't you take your bath? I am perfectly comfortable. Just put your head down. You have this lovely, long, blonde hair. Turn your head. Like that. Horror films were dominated by the classic figures. Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. But as the years passed, the pride of Frankenstein. they began to lose their shock value and found themselves being used to create the opposite effect. 
we're going up to that castle. What about that woman? Oh, she's only trying to scare us. Well, she's doing a very good job of it. Yeah, come on. Oh, no, no. Please don't wear that. What's the matter? I know you think I'm crazy, but in a half an hour, the moon will rise and I'll turn into a wolf. You and 20 million other guys. Christ. As horror and comedy became more intertwined, it was hard to know how to react. Yeah, operator, get me the Land Mother County Sheriff's Department, quick. It's only a movie. <laughs> it's only a movie. But sooner or later, you must leave the theater and go home. Perhaps alone.